Hi, Shlock Mr. Fans. Going back to the Six Pack Volume 3. We're watching the second movie. Uh, it's called Hellhounds of Alaska. Let's check it out. Our movie starts out in Alaska. Everything looks real enough now for our claim. It don't look real enough as people are supposed to believe that we've found gold. Do you understand? Let them think it's a mountain of gold. They're scheming. Here's Don Rutland, played by Doug McClure. Don is able to move the boulders and get inside and rescue Billy. But Billy is injured. Billy needs medical attention, so uh, Don is going to take him. You're not coming along? No, Don, I'm staying here. I know. So the townsfolk are sending their gold on a wagon to go to a bank or something. The captain's not sending his gold along. And that's Rose. Here's a guy named Shat who says only three words. I don't recall. Cotton, this boy is very sick. He's got to see a doctor. Can you take him along? Simple thing in the world, Don. Those are the guys taking the gold. They're going to take Billy with them, too. The sheriff, four men, and a deputy. These are the ambushers looking to uh, Easy, boy. Slow down. rip off the gold. Live a lot longer that way. And that's exactly what the ambushers do. They ambush. But Billy survived. And one of the ambushers was actually working with the uh, with the good guys. Back in town, here's a boxer named Hammerham. Only he once had the bad luck to kill another fighter in the rain. With a straight left. Bang! And the man was dead. No, mister. With a right hook. Huh? What makes you so damn sure? Because it was this right hand that did it, mister. The ambusher pretends that he was a victim. The gold transport was attacked. I got away. Sheriff sure after this. What do you mean? I say Buffin should be appointed sheriff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the lone survivor is appointed sheriff. Meanwhile, the bad guys decide to keep Billy. But he took my brother and gave me this little boy. Meanwhile, Doug McClure, Don, has to uh, what do you want? challenge a hey, local Indian. Hey, we'll fight over him. That man is Billy's father, who's, I guess, been attacked by the Indians. Of course, Don kiss. wins. I just want your prison. Does he belong to me? He belongs to you. Uh, but it's too late, he's going to die. I promise. I promise. I promise. Thank you. You better Remember. find Billy before you can look after him. Don't forget, you're not Back in town, Rose to wants to go on revenge because one of the men killing the ambush was her father. This cult belonged to my daddy. Don goes out to investigate and finds the grave of the five men killed. Where's Billy? I only count five graves. What about the kids? There was no kids. I was there when they buried the men. Rose, I gave your father a boy to take along with him. His name was Billy Sanders. He's either escaped or he's still with the men who did this. But he's lost his memory. They're going to make the kid change his name. I'll tell you who you are. You're Robbie. Robert Monty. Wouldn't be an old west movie without a bar fight. Billy Sanders' father gave me this bag of gold. It weighed about ten ounces. Don found it. I gave it to Sheriff Cotton. Cotton is dead. And one of the murderers lost it in the saloon. And I'm supposed to believe you, Rutland? You believe what you want. But I know at least one of the killers in Bear Pass is here in Cancun. I wasn't expecting a friend. I'm your friend. 
I know. I just came to tell you who lost the bag of gold. Who? Buffins. I just saw him. I thought so. What about the bag? It's here in Cantaina. Don confronts the new sheriff. That doesn't tell you. I'm warning you. Who he's now suspecting. You a false accusation? No, no. I wouldn't accuse anyone without definite proof. But you could help me. You are the sheriff. You know Sheriff deputizes a couple of people. Thank you. My two deputies will a frame up is that. afoot. This bag of gold belonged to Mr. Fox. It was on the gold transport. And the bag and the horse. Back at the bad guy's camp, Billy has realized who he really was, is, and escaped. Rose finds him, however, unbeknownst to her. The killer had a gun on him, so he says he's Robbie and not Billy. So Don is locked up, but the sheriff has set a trap for him. He's, he put the keys within reach, or, you know, with a little effort. He wants to see him escape so he can shoot him as he's escaping. But right before he has a chance to shoot Don, hammer him. I guess figured something was up. Well, you said I should get on Buffett's nerves. She sure did. Thanks. She <laughs> points out where she saw the boy. Uh, come on. Blood. She's not convinced that it wasn't Billy. Back at the bad guy's Don't camp. The bad guys are looking to leave and get out of there. Please, please. We'll take Robbie's horse with us too. Billy's about to escape again. So the bad guys are all killed, except for this guy, the head bad guy. Who has some dynamite. Mark and his men were the ones who attacked and robbed the gold transport. Don Rutland is innocent. Buffins confess. Now we're going to get the real murderer. Final fight ensues. <laughs> Uh, I'm coming! Hold on! Oh. That's the end of him. Stolen gold is rescued. Don is off at the sheriff's position, which he turns down. Because he made a promise to yeah, yeah. Billy's old man to take care of him. Alright. Just got done watching something called Hellhounds of Alaska. Not quite a schlocky film. Uh, well, I guess kind of in a way it is. I mean, there's no nudity in this movie. There's not really a lot of violence. There's a couple of people die. It's basically a German Western. I guess this was a genre, kind of like the spaghetti Westerns, except they're not spaghetti. They're German. So this is, uh, I don't know, Wiener Schnitzel Westerns. So this is allegedly taking place in Austria. I'm sorry, Alaska. Or it was actually filmed in Austria, I believe, uh, with a bunch of German people. So we have Doug McClure. An actor, American actor, I actually have a movie of his called Warlords of Atlantis. I think he was in like The People That Time Forgot also. Kind of a low-grade B action star of the 70s uh, was Mr. McClure. Anyway, he filmed this little opus called Hellhounds of Alaska. There's really no hellhounds. There's not even a lot of hounds. There's a couple of dogs in this movie, but they have nothing to do with this movie. So I guess the hellhounds are the humans. The rest of the cast, I think, is mostly made up of German actors and actresses. And the dubbing is really bad in this movie. Um, I don't even know what it, what do you think of this movie. It wasn't horrible, but it just seemed implausible and not great. But it was, I guess, entertaining on some level. I wasn't bored by it. It just the movie just kept rolling along. So there you go. Uh, yeah, Hellhounds of Alaska. I don't know what else really much to tell you about it. Um, it's as far as I know, it's never had any sort of video release whatsoever until it appeared on this Code Red Six Pack Volume Three here. The Video quality of this print is not that great. There's a lot of scratches and lines, and it's just uh, it's just kind of poor. But um, again, it's it's very very watchable, and there's really you're not going to have any issues with it. So if you're looking for perfection, look elsewhere. But if you're looking for a way to kill 96 minutes and you don't want to see any boobs, this is the movie to watch. So anyway, it's called Hellhounds of Alaska. Maybe it's floating around out there somewhere online if you want to watch it. Not a horrible film. just doesn't fit in with my usual kind of garbage that I watch. It's garbage, but a different kind of garbage. So uh, probably rated PG at best. So anyway, it's called Hellhounds of Alaska. Again, 
Try to find it if you can. Interestingly, on this DVD, if you look at the opening title screen, uh, three movies are on this one. The Sin of Adam and Eve, Hellhounds of Alaska, and Gums are on the, this particular disc. They spelled Hellhounds wrong uh, when you're looking at the marquee on the title screen um, on the disc menu. They spelled, they forgot the N in Hellhounds, so it's Hellhounds of Alaska. I don't know. Anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think about it if you can sit through this. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it together. Hellhounds of Alaska. I might be the only person on earth to have seen this. Probably not. But why don't you join me? Watch it. Bye.